Here we go. Top 10 outfielders heading into the 2023 MLB season. Let's kick this off, JM. This is uh, pretty loaded. We're headed toward, uh, we're in crunch time here as we're getting ready for the season to start. So we're making it all outfielders here, and uh, it's a difficult list. Just about every guy on this list could, like, win an MVP. So, you know, it's pretty right. pretty tough to uh, sort them out. Yeah. Okay. We, we try to do it, one through ten. You want to start or you want me to start? Why don't you go ahead? Uh, yeah, I can start. Hold on. It's on my phone, actually. I'm trying to click over here. Beautiful. All right. We'll start at 10. We'll go Michael Harris. Number nine, we'll go Kyle Tucker. Number eight, Ronald Acuna Jr. Number seven, Julio Rodriguez. Number six, Bryce Harper. Number five, Mookie Betts. Number four, Juan Soto. That pains me, by the way. Mm-hmm. Juan Soto, a four. Jordan Alvarez, number three. Mike Trout, number two, and your boy Aaron Judge at number one. Respect. Thought thought you might have gone Trout one there. I almost did, but I didn't. Um. Okay. List list is pretty similar. Got got a few differences though. So I'll same I'll, guys. I'll, yeah, all the top ten are the same players. So I went ten. Michael Harris, nine. Ronald Acuna, eight. Kyle Tucker, seven. Julio Rodriguez. Six, Mookie Betts. Five, Juan Soto. Four, Bryce Harper. Three, Jordan Alvarez. Two, Mike Trout. And one, Aaron Judge. See, I thought I was going to have Harper a little higher than you, but we you had him higher than me. Yeah, I got him four. I just yeah. think, like, when you talk about Harper versus Soto and Betts, you know, Harper's got the MVP in 2021, and he he. Honestly, like might have won it again last year if he didn't get hurt. He he's Could've just been. he's one of the best hitters in the game. He's incredible. And you know, that's one of those deals where we're gonna look back and we're gonna say the Phillies actually kind of got the good end of that deal. Yeah. Considering it was three hundred thirty million dollars over thirteen years. Um, especially when you look at these contracts that are be- being given out now. But I really like Harper. Um, he's gonna be out in the beginning of the year, right? And he's he's gonna miss a pretty good amount of time. Yeah. So that's unfortunate for them. I'm sure for you, you don't give a flying f about that. Yeah. Um. Take yeah. time. Take I mean, your we time. Get to, we could talk about the rest. How about the Braves, man? They got two guys on this list. Yeah, pretty scary. Uh, and and we both debated a couple of guys, but we both went Harris at ten. He's so young. And, you know, he is like, when we're talking about young guys coming up and starting in the at the major league level, um, he should be like the blueprint. You know, like if there's a guy, especially if you're a contending team, like the Mets and the Yankees, you got a couple of top prospects who right. might be, you know, too young in their books. But, you know, if he's going to help you later in the season, you should probably just bring him up. Like he's that perfect example. They bring him up and he is, I mean, since the, 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 the second they brought him up last season, couple of weeks maybe then they really went on that run where they caught the Mets late in the year like just were unbelievable from June on yep. he's one of those reasons unbelievable defender def, mm-hmm. uh, defensive center fielder might already be the best defensive center fielder in baseball he's incredible. um he has pop crazy speed can hit for a high average um yeah. unbelievable player yeah um now Acuna it's going to be interesting you know he's been banged up and I think, you know, he's, he, she should be fully healthy now. And with him, you know, we're, we're just, we grouped him in that same conversation with that, that class of Tatis and Soto and Vlad, where they all came up around the same time. And you were like, these four guys are going to be the future of the league. They're going to, you know, have MVP seasons. And he's certainly had great years and he's had some MVP caliber seasons, but, you know, close to. We're waiting for him to really – we still – I still view him as the guy on this team. You know, I know you got Austin Riley and you got Matt Olson. You got some – we just talked about Harris. You got some really good guys on this team. I still think he's the best player, position player at least, on this roster for the Braves. Really waiting for him to finally get that healthy season and put it all together, and he's got that 40-40 potential. So, he's scary. He could fly up this list, and I wouldn't be surprised if he did it all. 
we went at it a bunch, me and you, about him and Soto year, and yeah. all these guys. And, you know, he was very disappointing last season. He really was just, I mean, I'm looking at the numbers right now, just pretty average, yeah. to be completely hey, honest he, with you. I think it was, it was he probably wasn't healthy and he yeah. had some other complications. But I remember I just talked about those four guys. We were talking about it on probably an episode or whatever we did last year. And we were saying, you know, you're starting your franchise. Soto, Tatis, Vlad, and Yacuna, who's going to be your pick? And I think I might have said Acuna. You know, when you we did, you were, yeah, we, when we first did. And now, if we could, after this year, restructure that, it would probably be Soto. Then that number two, I'd probably still take Acuna just because of how versatile of a player he is. I know Vlad's a fantastic hitter, but he plays first base. And I think I'd rather have a, 40 stolen base potential outfielder with a rocket arm and a huge bat that Ronald Acuna has. And then I just put Tat- Tatis at the end because of his injuries and now, you know, with his PDs and he's got a bunch of question marks there. You want to hear something crazy? I'd what? take a couple of those guys out. One replace them with I would replace them with other guys. Well, yeah, now you got now you talk about Julio Rodriguez and Harris. Jordan. And like that. Yeah. Jordan's only 25. He could be absolutely put in, the, on the, in that conversation. And uh, uh, we, yeah, that's, a, that's another team, the Astros, two guys on this list. Yep. And, you know, I got to I gotta do my, my due diligence before we do our, our predictions for the 2023 season. He's a guy I could see having an MVP season is Kyle Tucker. I, I think I, I really – he's a, he's a great player. He's a great defender. Um, really – one of those long lefty swings where it looks like he's he's swinging a a, a you know a, a a tree trunk but he's just a very underrated and very good player that I think is going to keep getting better yeah you've been talking about that for a while you should you should definitely place a bet on that yeah on him to win the mvp alvarez is an unbelievable if there's a player that can you know, I don't want to say replicate the season Judge had, but you know, be that guy that upsets Otani to win an MVP in the American League. Alvarez is that guy for me yeah. because it's just you know one of the best bats we've seen in a very long time. This guy. Oh, he'll he'll have he'll have a fifty home run, eleven hundred OPS season one day. He'll yeah. he'll do that. He's so dangerous. So um, for me, Alvarez is um, definitely a guy. That um, you know, I would throw some money on to win an MVP here. Yeah. A lot of great players. Uh, Betts. I, Betts is always forgotten about. Betts, Mookie yeah. Betts always forgotten about. I don't know. He's been kind of he's solid, and he's you know with the Dodgers, he's been great, but he hasn't had that MVP season yet. And yeah, it's 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 not a knock because it's so hard for these guys to do these this year after year. And I'm sure, you know, with Judge, I'm not coming out and expecting him to hit 60 again. You know, like, you have these special years. And Mookie Betts batted 346 the year he won the MVP with the Red Sox. Now he's a 270 hitter. But he's still a great player. I have him, what, 6'5", whatever I yeah. have him at. He's he's fantastic. He, he's, sure. you know, he's one of the best defenders uh, on this list. Uh, another everybody guy on this list, basically besides Alvarez, and I think that's basically it. Is a five tool Harper is a five tool guy. So yeah, Betts would have had a forty home run season. He missed twenty games last year. Yeah, um, you know, slugging percentage very high. Like you say, he's two seventy hitter. Not really wor- worried about that. And a six WAR player. I mean, yep. you know, still a very elite guy and, and uh, dangerous. The leader of that team right now. Yeah. Just climbing up this list more. I mean, Soto is Soto. He's he's great, and he's another guy that I think I'm leaning towards to be my MVP pick. Yeah, a little but, um, scary. Well, he's a little scary. Mike Trout is Mike Trout, and the only reason he's number two is because Aaron Judge just had one of the best seasons we've ever seen in the history of the game, and Trout was hurt. But if Mike Trout puts together a fully healthy season, as much as I love Judge, he'll be number one next year. Yes. 100%. When this guy puts it all together, you're talking, you know, he he puts up 10 war in his sleep. And Judge had 11 last year. But again, you don't really expect him to do that again. Um, but Mike Trout does it year after year. That's why he's so special. So 
I mean, 119. Fully healthy. 119 games, he hit 40 home runs. Oh yeah, I was. He could have hit 60. Yeah, he could have broke. He could have broken that record last year. Yeah, uh, it's it, it. really is unreal. 45 home runs in 134 games in 2019. Um, yeah, I I, I do this sometimes where I'll just look on his baseball reference page like wow like you know oh, we, so we got to we got to watch this guy's prime and we're still yeah. watching it and hopefully he can you know have one of those crazy seasons again where he hits 45 50 home runs and and be you know an mvp in the american league again it'll be fun like Last you said thing, uh, yeah couple guys just we'll talk honorable mentions i guess springer brian reynolds and then two more nimmo i actually yeah. looked at he's he's great nimmo and last one, Cedric Mullins had a good year last year. It wasn't the same year he had in 2021, but he still put together a nice season. Right. And he's a reliable player. He's played probably the most games out of anybody that's on this list. Um, potential stolen base title this year. Uh, he's he's great at swiping bags. So that's uh, he's one of the most underrated players, I think, still, Cedric Mullins. He's a great player. Yeah, looked at Reynolds, looked at Nemo, couldn't uh, justify them over Harris. Yeah, I mean, uh, but you know, lo- love my boy. The guy. Springer was the guy that made it tough. Yes, for sure. Um, I, I you know forget about the season that he had um last last year as well. I mean, he had twenty five home runs in one hundred and thirty three games, yeah. and twenty twenty one, twenty two home runs in seventy eight games. Yeah, that would have been a monster season if he was to stay healthy and that's kind of the thing with him too. It, it, it's health. If he's healthy, he's going to be, he's going to, you know, crack the top 10, I think. And of course, Aaron Hicks. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk much about J rod and we kind of like brought him up briefly. Um, I don't want to go too much more into depth here, but you know, he's going to be uh, on this list for a very, very one thing time. I want to say about him. He's great. I think we need to pump the brakes a little bit with him already. Like, He's getting these like uh, anoint. I saw somebody say that he's the best player on the Dominican Republic team. Okay, relax. Could That's he be a hundred percent six war in your first season? You know, s- stealing all these bases, hitting bombs. He's great, and I think he's got potential to be a Hall of Famer for sure. But like, we're talking Juan Soto here. We're talking some yeah, some, some big some Vlad. We're talking some big time players. Yeah, no, you're definitely right about that. I didn't see that, but that's pretty nuts. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, you've got Robinson Cano on that team. I mean, come on. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. Gary Sanchez. Come on. (laughs) I love it. All right. That'll do it for our outfielders list. The first ever annual just outfielders list. Mm -hmm. Time Uh, for the pitchers. Yeah. Oh, that that, the starting pitchers are going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah, so we'll look out for that. 